Hello, this is Jose from uh, Hofo. Uh, my screen name is also Dimson05. Um, I actually got a couple of questions. There were some people saying that the Symbian 60 web browser was actually the same speed or comparable to the uh, iPhone browser on the most comparable to the iPhone browser on Wi-Fi. Um, and even though I love Symbian a whole bunch, and I barely use my iPhone, it's right there. Um, the iPhone browser, I gotta say, is one of the faster ones that I've seen so far. And just to prove it, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a speed test real quick. I'm not gonna do a speed test first on my computer, just so you can see what the latency is and this is over Wi-Fi so you can see at about okay about 80, 80 8, 8 megabits down closer to 9 megabits down not too bad this is on a cable modem so and this is actually over Wi-Fi 54 megabits a second G so okay so not too bad so I'm sorry about the focus. It's 88.34. Now go ahead and put up the. Uh, you can get the uh, browser fired up. All right, so I got both phones here. Uh, this is the iPhone. It's pretty hard to see. I'm sorry, I can't show you. That little blue thing right there next to no SIM. That's the Wi-Fi bar. That one's actually connected to Wi-Fi. And this one's connected to. The uh, total Wi Fi as well. Sorry, you better see the one right next to the ad symbol. It means I have email. Let's check my email a little bit. All right, so pretty much, and I already turned on all the, the, the browser settings on this. So, what I did was I, I, don't know there. I went to settings, and right here where it says general. I turned off the minimap and I turned on the Java ECMA script. So it's enabled. Okay. So there's it's so everything's on. Uh the only thing I didn't turn on was the Java the flash. Because you really don't need the flash. But the images that's on and uh the screen size is normal screen, so everything's on. The block the the pop-up blockers, those are on. Everything. Just like the iPhone, it renders everything. This one will render everything. Okay, so we're gonna go to Hofo. Like, so go right here, and there it is. Already got a bookmark for the iPhone as well. And pull this up. There it is. All right. So, I'll even give the uh, E90 a head start just so you guys can see. So, I'll go ahead and push enter on the E90. I'll click on Hofo. And just so you can see how fast the pages render on each device. And see the E90 is still going. I'm sorry about the uh, the focus. It's just it's a little hard to do with the N95. So there it is, the uh, iPhone already finished, and the E90, it's still going. I remember the iPhone has everything on the JavaScript and everything. You can see the iPhone, it's already done. And there it is, it's just barely finishing up. So let, let's try another website. So I'm going to go to, I'm go to Gizmodo on this one. Go to Gizmodo. And I'll even give it a head start again. See, it's Gizmodo. So I'll click enter. And I'll tap on Gizmodo on the iPhone. And there they go. And Gizmodo's already starting to render on the on the E90. So there they go. iPhone already has them rendered. Remember, both of these are on 8 megabit Wi-Fi. Both running on G.
There it is, the iPhone's done. See? The E90 is actually still loading, so. Remember, this is on Wi-Fi, so. The iPhone is substantially faster. I hate to say it, but the puddings are most, most, partly most because of the uh, faster processor. Because this one's running a 333, I think. And this one's a 624, so. Yeah. It would be nice if the, uh, the E90 had a processor like that. See, this page isn't even loaded. The uh, picture isn't there. It goes. But I guess it, it helps save on battery. So, there you guys have it.